All right, all right. You welcome to All Life Mouse TV. My name remains Jix Anemo, and this is a channel where you learn mathematics every day. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. You know what that does? YouTube uses this algorithm to notify you whenever we drop a new video. Okay, sit back as we dive into today's challenge. The question says 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x all equal to 5. What there would be the possible value or values of x? And so from here, we take our solution. So here we have solution. All right, we put down our equation. We say 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x equal to 5. So we can simplify this. And so this will become, here we have this to be 2 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x or equal to 5. So from here, this, we go with this. Here we are left with 1 plus then this other side, if we suck up to um, the law of indices that says a to the power of m all over b to the power of m equal to your a all over b all to the power of m. And this can be written as 4 all over 2 all to the power of x equal to 5. Very easy. And we can use 2 to divide the numerator and the denominator. If we do that, 2 here will give us 1, 2 here will give us 2. And so we now have this to be, let's proceed from here. Here we now give us here 1 plus here 2 to the power of x there equal to 5. Very easy. Okay, we collect our light term, send this one to this other side to give us here 2 to the power of x equal to 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. And so we have 2 to the power of x equal to 4. Then we can express this to base 2. If we do that, this will give us x to the power of, sorry, 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2. Of course, the bases are the same. So we can equate the exponent. And so this will give us x is equal to 2. This is the first method. Now, let's look at the second method to this challenge. Second method. We put down our equation, which is 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, all over 2 to the power of x equal to 5. Let's eliminate this 2 to the power of x. So if we multiply through, this will give us 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 5 dot 2 to the power of x. Very easy. Okay. Now, from here, what we do next here is this. Take this to this other side of the equation. If we do that, this will give us 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x minus 5 dot 2 to the power of x or equal to 0. Okay. Yeah, we can express this to the power of 2 to the power of 2. If we take this as 2 to the power of 2, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of x minus 5 dot 2 to the power of x equal to 0. So let's proceed from this point again to this other side. Now that we have this, you discover that we can open up this bracket, this exponential here. So if we do this, we're going to have this 2 to the power of x plus uh, 2 to the power of 2x, then minus 5 dot 2 to the power of x, or equal to 0. If I bring this and this together, what will become of this? And so we are going to have this to be 2 to the power of 2x minus, or let's put plus, let's bring this first, 2 to the power of x minus 5 dot 2 to the power of x are equal to 0. I want to factor out 2 to the power of x from here. So this will give me 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x because we are looking at this now. 
So bracket, here we are left with one minus, here we are left with five equal to zero. If we subtract five from one, we give us negative four, four. So we are going to have this to be two to the power of x plus two to the power of x into minus four equal to zero. So we have this to be two to the power of x minus four dot two to the power of x are equal to zero. Look at this. We can again factor out two to the power of x. If we do that, we are going to have this to be two to the power of x, okay? Bracket, here we are left with two to the power of x minus, here we have four equal to zero. If we divide through by two to the power of x, here we give us zero, there this other side we leave. In other words, we have here 2 to the power of x equals to 0 all over 2 to the power of x. So this, this leaves the system. We are left with minus 4 equal to 0. If you collect your light terms, or send this to this side, we have 2 to the power of x equal to positive 4. Again, express to uh, this to be 2. So if we do this, we are going to have this to be 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2. The basis are the same, and so the exponent will be the same. So cancel, cancel, we have x is equal to 2. And this, again, confirm with the uh, first method. Okay, so let's take the last method. Third method, we have third method to so this exponential. As recommended, we put down our question, which is um, 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over... 2 to the power of x equal to 5. All right. From here, let's eliminate this by multiplying through by 2 to the power of x. Again, this will now give us here 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 5 dot 2 to the power of x. Look at this expression. Now, I want to divide by uh, 4 to the power of x. So from here we put it divide, divide through by 4 to the power of x. And so if I do that, this will automatically give me 2 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x equal to 5 dot 2 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x. Of course, Dix, we go with Dix. Okay? So let's continue from here again. If we look carefully, Dix can be expressed as, or if you have A to the power of M all over B to the power of M, this is the same thing as A all over B all to the power of M. So if we apply that root to Dix and we apply it to Dix, we're going to have the expression to become... 2 all over 4 all to the power of x, the plus 1 equal to 5 into bracket 2 all over 4 all to the power of x again. All right. Yes, we can divide through. We can divide through here. So we have here to be 1 all over uh, 2 all over to the power of x plus 1 equal to 5 into 1 all over uh, 2 all to the power of x. Now, you all discover with what we have in here now, let's bring every term to this other side, which is the left hand side of the equation. If we do that, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2 all to the power of x, then minus 5 into 1 all over 2 to the power of x plus 1 or equal to 0. At this point, we can bring in another a letter or alphabet to represent our 1 all over 2 to the power of x. And so if we do that, we can say here, yeah, let, let P equal to a 1 all over 2 to the power of x. And so wherever we see um, 1 all over 2 to the power of x, we put in P there. And so this will give us P minus 5, P plus 1 or equal to 0. And so if we carry out this, we're going to have this to be minus 4P plus 1 equal to 0. So we have, um, if we rearrange this, this will give us 4p is equal to 1. 
and we are to make p the subject of the formula we have p is equals to one all over four again we now go to our term we, we, we recall where we said let p is equals to one all over two to the power of x so if we substitute for this what will be our answer again if you are new to this channel do not forget to subscribe okay because we drop new videos every day on this channel all right we have fun here every day so let's take the last lap of this uh, expression so we said recall recall that we said let p is equals to one all over two all to the power of x and we've calculated our p to be one all over four so wherever we see p we put in one all over four there so this we now implies that 1 all over 4 is equals to 1 all over 2 all to the power of x in here. Okay, again, we can express this as 2 to the power of 2. And so we have here 1 all over 2 to the power of 2 equal to 1 all over 2 all to the power of s, which is same thing as 1 all over 2 all to the power of 2 equal to 1 all over 2 all to the power of x. Again, if you check the base, the base number are the same. So we can equate the exponent. And so this goes with this. And so we now have, therefore, our x is equal to um, 2. Okay. And if we go ahead to check if our answer is correct, or let's just take a brief check to this. Check. So if we have to check this, if it is correct, have your check. Um, when x is equal to 2, when x is equal to 2, what would be the value of our expression so we have here 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of x equal to 5 and this will give us 2 to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2 all over 2 to the power of 2 equal to 5. 2 to the power of 2 will give us here 4 plus here 16 all over 4 equal to 5 and here gives us 20 all over 4 equal to 5 and 20 all over 4 will give us 5 equal to five so it is correct all right now to the person or to whom must have dropped this question i want to believe that you learned something from this uh, uh so solving now and if you get something from this survey drop it in the comment section do not forget to give the video a thumbs up okay because you have to fast track the growth of this channel remember jakes loves you so much and all of us at online mass tv love you so much because they are always there bye for now